Live from the WHBC Broadcast Center. Find out more about area businesses, agencies, and events. It's what's going on right now. This is Spotlight on Stark County with Pam Cook and Gary Rivers. Oh, yes. (laughs) We return to a Wednesday edition of Spotlight on News Talk 1480 WHBC. Please don't bring that food in. It's too good. I was going to say, I just went to the the, uh, website of Dutchman Hospitality, and it says, this is your happy place. It is. Our conference room is our happy place right now because it is fueled. Filled to the brim with wonderful goodies from Dutchman Hospitality. Thanks to Vicki Venata. How are you? I'm good. So glad to have you in studio with us. I just uh, have one question. Is that because question. I brought food? No, I have no. one question. How no. do you resist temptation? I don't. I don't. So don't look below the table. <laughs> I mean, everything you brought in was sweet and delicious. I yeah. mean, that's... Including herself. She's, well, including herself. See, we just have to... She, we don't want her to think it's all we care about is the food, Gary. Oh, yeah. It's true, though. It's, well, let me just say, this is Spotlight on Stark <laughs> County for your Wednesday, August 22nd, and uh, Gary Rivers, Pam Cook, and we are uh, talking Dutchman hospitality. We've got a lot of different things mm-hmm. to get to this morning. Don't forget, if you are uh, you want to watch us on Facebook, you can do that right now. We're live on Facebook. Yeah. Just go to our Facebook page, like it, at 1480 WHBC. Yeah, it's a uh, man, oh man, oh man. All right, so you brought a lot of food in, and then there was a line every Everybody from here all the way down the block. Uh, <laughs> People from the repository were, were trying to come in and get food. <laughs> right. <laughs> we had to check IDs at the door. We did. Yeah. You work here? All right. But all right, tell me about that pie. I mean, I, I you have to start with that because Which, that's something special. You, had, you didn't have the blueberry. Didn't lemon. have blueberry. You had the caramel pecan chocolate silk pie. Yeah. Gary. Caramel did pecan. Did you have blueberry lemon? There is a blueberry <gasps> lemon. It is yeah. really JD, good. JD, you have to get me blueberry lemon. <laughs> I stayed away from that. Uh, I'm a lemon he person. He went for the yeah. sugar rush instead yeah. of the fruit. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Well, if yeah, I mean the blueberry lemon looked good, but I but you've seen me eat and the stains would be everywhere, so I thought I'd just go for the one that it would Both be. Both of those pies are just seasonal. Mm-hmm. So they're limited. Mm-hmm. They're just limited. The the um chocolate silk that one is for the month of August. Oh. So it's going to go away soon. It's going to go really? away soon. Yeah. But it'll come but back there are even, next but year, But there are still good ones all the way around, yes. right? Yes. And right. then the blueberry we have in the summer, that will be here for a little bit. We'll start with grape pie, right. which is very old-fashioned. Very old-fashioned. Yeah. Yeah. I've never had grape pie. Well, I have, and I was talking to Marion about that out there and say, grape pie? I've never had that. Yeah, I never have either. <laughs> well, people used to make it, but as Marion explained, they didn't like taking the pits out back in the day. The seeds, and yeah. And so they didn't mm-hmm. make it, but now it's a little easier. So it's much easier. Much easier, mm-hmm. so nice. Oh, wow, very good. All right, so you have bakeries right there on... on we do. On... Each of our restaurants has a, a bakery attached to it. Um, so... Yeah. First it's, of um, all, we should probably tell a people difficult. Yes. What what Dutchman Hospitality is like? What you mm-hmm. encompass before we get into the individuals. Well, if you're not familiar with Dutchman Hospitality, many people don't. When you say that, it sounds pretty cold, doesn't it? Dutchman mm-hmm. Hospitality. I mean, even though the word is hospitality, we have Dear Dutchman Restaurant. So right. when I say to people, "Have you ever heard of Dear Dutchman Restaurant?" Oh, yeah, yeah. we go there all the time. They don't know who Dutchman Hospitality is, but they know Dear Dutchman mm-hmm. Restaurant, Dutch Valley Restaurant. The Carlisle Inns, Berlin Farmstead Restaurant, Carlisle Gifts, and now we have Ohio Star Theater. Yeah. We have our Dutch Valley Market on our Dutch Valley campus. People know those names. They've had those experiences. Some Many people have been going ever since they grew up. Mm-hmm. So, Which, by the way, we are going to be celebrating our 50th anniversary next year. 50 years in 50 business. years, but look at how it's grown over the years. Yeah, the first thing they had was the little 75-seat Der Dutchman in Walnut Creek on the square, and lots of people told them, you're never going to make it. It was more, they mm-hmm. probably didn't mm-hmm. say it to the owners. They said it more like in church or over right. dinner. That's never going to last. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we have six restaurants, yeah. and we're in Sarasota, Florida. We're in Plain City, Ohio, Belleville, Berlin, Walnut Creek, Sugar Creek. And, you know, we just want to say thank you to the people that have supported it mm-hmm. for 50 years. That was my first job when I was 14 years old. 
Was that the Der Dutchman the year they opened? No kidding. So you've never really gone too washer. far away from that. Wow. I know. That's amazing. I mean, I haven't worked there for 50 years. Right. But <laughs> I've worked there three times. I yeah. left and came back and left again. But you keep back. coming back. Yes. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful niche. And first of all, America has discovered Amish country. It's true. And, and mm-hmm. because of that, mm-hmm. the, the area is just exploding with growth as far as folks coming into town. And uh, to have Dutchman hospitality, obviously being able to take advantage of that and offer the products that people want. Right. It's comfort food. And I say, you know, our comfort food is cheaper than therapy. Mm. But <laughs> <laughs> um, it's also, I think the thing we really like to stress is that it's time around the table. I mean, how often do you sit down, like we are right now, mm-hmm. and actually look at people and not be on your phone? You would be on your phone right now no. if you didn't have. <laughs> no. <laughs> and talk to people. Maybe, but just and, you remind me there's an email oh, yeah, I've got see, to answer. He's <laughs> his phone no, now. I won't do that. <laughs> Spend time around the table mm-hmm. with good food that, that, you know, is like something your grandmother would have right. made, or maybe your mother, depending on your age, or something you might have cooked you know, when your kids were growing up, and just reconnect. And it's part, you know, that's one of the reasons at our Carlisle Inns, in the breakfast area, we don't have televisions, which some people find really odd. But it's because we want people to talk. We want people mm-hmm. to spend time together and enjoy each other and and sort of renew their friendship or their relationship and and we have so, the type of food that sort of lends itself yeah. to that. So no USB ports at the dinner table? <laughs> no <laughs> Wi-Fi. No. There is, well, what? there is Wi-Fi. There is Wi-Fi. There is Wi-Fi. But we don't advertise it. Yeah. yeah. Right. But no, there is no USB port yes. at the table. <laughs> I'm troublemaker right. named Gary uh, yeah. at uh, table yeah. three. <laughs> <laughs> so you need the Wi-Fi. I understand that. But, yeah. wow. but we, I really believe in our restaurants we see a lot less of people. A lot less people on their phones. Mm-hmm. It still happens, especially when there's young kids. Yeah. But not nearly like you see in a lot of restaurants. Well, you got to love that. Restaurants. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we're going to give mm-hmm. folks an opportunity to enjoy Dear Dutchman, et cetera, because we've got some giveaways that we'll do a little bit from now, right? Yeah, we, we will do this, but you, stay tuned. It's coming up here in probably the next half hour or so. Mm-hmm. And uh, first of all... You're going to win two tickets to the 2018 season, um, either Half Stitch, Stolen, or Christmas in Paradise. Those are the three musicals the th- we have. And yes. uh, that, So you'll get two of those tickets, and you'll also get uh, breakfast, lunch, or dinner for two, including beverage and dessert at either Dutch Valley, Sugar Creek, wow. Berlin Farmstead Restaurant, or Dutchman Walnut Creek. So this will be great. This is great. And I know everybody like fights over this when we have this, but we'll give that away coming up here uh, within the next half hour or so. You have a lot going on besides the food. Well, you've got the food. <laughs> yeah, the and, theater is and we just kind of right? touched on the theater a little bit. Let's, let's talk about this. The Ohio Star Theater. How long has that been open now? Well, we started doing, um, six years ago, we started doing shows at our Carlisle in Sugar Creek in sort of a makeshift little theater in the round Mm -hmm. with, we only had 187 seats. And then in 2017, they opened a 500 seat theater on the campus there, Dutch Valley restaurant, um, Carlisle Inn. And so this is our second season in our new theater. And we continue to add wonderful concerts to our musical schedule. The musicals is what we really focus on. Right. But they're very inspirational. I love... Right now we're doing Half Stitch, which will end on August 29th. You did that last year? Half Stitch? We've done... A, we didn't do it last year, but we've done it before. Done it but before. it is my absolute favorite. Yeah, I was going to say that's a, that's a favorite. And then you've got Stolen coming up Stolen very soon. Stolen is coming. And that starts September 11th. Mm-hmm. That is based on a series of books by Wanda Brunstetter, who is very well known for her Amish fiction. So she wrote a series called The Daughters of Lancaster County. And in that series, uh, a one-year-old Amish boy is snatched, kidnapped from uh, a farm. And the story, that's what Stolen is based on. Okay. Oh, I'll wow. tell you it has a good end. Okay, good. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't go to Amish country for, <laughs> for bad a bad endings. ending. That's right. You don't do that. If no, not, we want have you to pie. feel good. Right. That's right. Eat the comfort food, feel good. Go to the show, feel good. And then, of yes. course, during Christmas season, Christmas in Paradise. Christmas in will Paradise. Come in. Well, what I love, and, and I know we have to take a break in a moment, but I, your concert series, you've got some amazing. Phil Kagey's coming up, one of the greatest guitarists ever. 
Uh, and that's September 29th. And my favorite uh, adult contemporary Christian artist, and probably of many of all time, Sandy Patty. Mm-hmm. I mean, how many awards has this woman won? I mean, what, 3,000? <laughs> right? I mean, she's amazing. <laughs> Aside from that, so yes, yes, good things. That's all at the Ohio Star Theater. Which, where is that located exactly? Ohio Star Theater is, if you're familiar, if anyone's familiar with the Dutch Valley Restaurant, it's next to the Dutch Valley Restaurant. If you're not, it's down I-77, exit 83 onto State Route 39, which 39 winds its way all through all the way through Amish country. But we are only seven miles from I-77. So when you leave I-77 and you go west on 39, we would be at the, at the first stoplight after you leave I-77. Well, that's not true. There's like one stoplight, I think, right after you leave I-77. One, yeah, we'll one, leave her to her thoughts, two. and we're going to take a break right yeah, now. Yeah, why don't we do that? We'll okay. come right back, and uh, <laughs> we'll tell She'll you more the about directions here in a minute. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> the Ohio Star Theater and okay. more when we come back. JT, want to hear from you. I wanted to call you guys and tell you to keep up the good work. I'm glad you guys are on and love listening to well, you guys. I need to laugh. I'm turning them on, so I did, and I'm glad I have. Well, we thank appreciate you, you listening. You call anytime. You guys are the best. Listen to you every afternoon. Oh, thank you very much. I just want to tell you, I don't know anything about the Cavs, the Browns, the Indians, or anybody, but you guys have proven this is the greatest show in the history of radio in Canada, Ohio, maybe in Ohio. <laughs> you having fun with us today? Mark Oney would be proud. It's Kenny and JT. We did between 3 and 7 on WHBC. Do you have aching feet, heel pain, or ankle problems? Some foot issues just can't be fixed by those expensive shoe stores or with shoe inserts. It's important that you find and fix the real problem and not just treat the symptom of foot and ankle pain. A foot exam from a doctor of podiatric medicine who is the medical expert in foot and ankle pain may answer your questions. Our doctors will provide important foot care solutions after doing a complete foot examination that a shoe store just can't do. Podiatric physicians are the most qualified doctors to care for your feet based on their education, training, and experience. The Ohio Foot and Ankle Medical Association's members are located throughout Ohio and are dedicated to providing the highest quality foot and ankle care. If you suffer from foot, heel, or ankle pain, let us help you find a member of the Ohio Foot and Ankle Medical Association so you know you are being treated by the very best. Visit us at associationsadvanceohio.com for a referral today. Life doesn't stop on the weekends and neither do you. So we understand that it can be hard to find the time to shop for a mattress. This is Robin Trzynski of the Original Mattress Factory, and we have a completely new website designed to help you simplify the mattress shopping experience. Check out our products, view our prices, and even place an order for pickup, local delivery, or to have it shipped outside of our delivery area. Just visit OriginalMattress.com and find a thoughtfully made, honestly priced mattress of your own. The Original Mattress Factory. Great beds, no bull. Amish country is always a good choice for a day away or a weekend of fun. Dutchman Hospitality offers unique comfort at their Carlisle Inns in Sugar Creek, Walnut Creek, and Berlin. Delicious Amish cooking at Der Dutchman, Dutch Valley, and Berlin Farmstead restaurants. And shopping at Carlisle Gifts, Dutch Valley Gifts, and Dutch Valley Market. And the best, Broadway caliber musicals at the Ohio Star Theater in Sugar Creek. Half Stitched ends August 29th, but a new musical, Stolen, begins September 11th. So plan now for a trip to Amish country. I'm Jay Farner, CEO of Quicken Loans, America's premier home purchase lender. We've created a new way to protect you from unpredictable interest rates. Our exclusive Rate Shield approval. First, we lock your interest rate for up to 90 days. Then, if rates go up, your rate stays locked. But if rates go down, your rate drops. Either way, you win. Call us today at 800 Quicken or go to rocketmortgage.com. Rate Shield approval only valid on certain 30 year fixed rate loans. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. Additional conditions or exclusions may apply. Winning starts here. Cleveland Browns 2018 single game tickets are on sale now. Be at First Energy Stadium this fall to cheer on your Browns with home matchups against division rivals Pittsburgh Steelers, Baltimore Ravens, and Cincinnati Bengals. Plus visits from the Bills, the Eagles, the Jets, the Chargers, the Chiefs, the Falcons, and the Panthers. Visit ClevelandBrowns.com to pick your games today. Winning starts today. Day. Winning starts right now. Again, go to clevelandbrowns.com today and click the ticket button to purchase. 
Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. Do you have a family? Would you like to help make sure they'll be taken care of if anything were to happen to you? If you answered yes, you probably need life insurance. Now, do you think life insurance is expensive? If you answered yes to that, too, you definitely need to give AIG Direct a call. We could find you a quarter of a million dollar policy for just $14 a month, which means you could save hundreds of dollars a year. Call us now for a free, no obligation quote. 1-800-400-3816. Since 1995, we've helped millions of people find out if they could save up to 70% on their term life insurance. See how affordably we can help you protect your family. Call AIG Direct now for your free quote. 1-800-400-3816. You could save up to 70%. That's 1-800-400-3816. 1-800-400-3816. Now back to Spotlight with Pam and Gary. Well, that was delicious three pieces of pie. Um, <laughs> you didn't eat three pieces I'm of pie, I'm ready for round two. We don't want Michelle flying <laughs> yeah. down here. <laughs> You'll be in so much trouble. So much oh, trouble. Boy. All right. Well, we are, of course, it is Wednesday, August 22nd. Spotlight on Star County, obviously. And we appreciate Vicki Veneta coming in and talking to us from Dutchman Hospitality. There's just so much pie in the building that I can't stand it. It's like hard to even think straight when there's pie like But this. more than the pies, you also have the great big deli. I mean, what are those? Oh, um, the cream sticks? Cream sticks oh, that are like yeah. a foot and a half long, it seems, or it just looks like that to me. I yeah, mean, pretty big. Those are made right there. And what's it filled with? Is it like it's cream? Sort of a, it's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a sort of a, a cross between just a cream, like whipped cream and yeah. Bavarian. It's a little what? bit more creamy than just a Twinkie. Yeah. Yes. All right, and so you've got some of those and those some are other one of my, I mean, there's just some favorite, amazing things. All right, yeah. well, I've got to stop talking that for a moment to talk about Miller Manor. What is Miller Manor? Explain that. So Miller Manor is a beautiful home that was once the home of the owners of our company. I'm going to ask, uh, their last name may be Miller? Yes. How? You, oh, you're very intuitive. Uh, That's pretty good, Gary. <laughs> I don't know how you figured that I w- out. I went out on a limb there. You did. But uh, came away victorious. <laughs> this house can accommodate 20 people. Mm-hmm. And they moved. They downsized. Their children are all grown and gone. Mm-hmm. They moved into a, a smaller, much smaller home. Mm-hmm. And they rent out their home as a like a vacation rental by owner. But we the rental wow. is handled mm-hmm. through our company. Got it. It is a most beautiful home. It's on a hill. In Walla Creek with a fabulous view. And I just wanted to mention it because it makes a great place for families to get together. You know, we were talking about the fact that our, our company really wants to promote that idea of a family, of and, family yeah. and relationships and being together. This is something you can you can do if you've got, you know, ten grandkids and Yeah, listen. Five bedrooms, six bathrooms, a full kitchen. Laundry room, Wi-Fi, a game room, satellite TV, a grand piano, a patio and fire pit, tennis courts, a home theater, laundry services, linens provided, and the pool and hot tub available at Carlin Isle, Carlisle Inn. Mm. Yeah, Carl. <laughs> and uh, my gosh, yeah, what that's a great nice. idea that would be. It's in Walla Creek, and it's very accessible. It's just a beautiful place to spend time with your family. All right, so they can make reservations. Yes. And I mm-hmm. would imagine it might be difficult to get the reservations in here. So It's been booking up you know, yeah. really quickly, but All right, so it's that's... just a great... It's a great alternative. All right, where know, do they find information on this? If there's, Is there a website? They can go to our website, mm-hmm. carlisleins.com. Okay. And um, the number is 855-400-2275. So that goes to our Carlisle Inn, and mm-hmm. they make... They, they do all the management of the residents. Yeah, and it's not like the Carlisle Inn isn't one of the greatest places to stay either. I, I mean, talk about that for a moment. Well, Christina will talk about that oh, with okay. you in the next half hour. But it is a wonderful place to stay, and the 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 customer comments that we get about the inn are sometimes they make my eyes a little burning with tears Aww. because they love it so much, and they mm-hmm. talk about how. They feel refreshed and rejuvenated and ready to take on the world again, and they love the peace and quiet and comfort. It's it's 
when you come to Amish country, even just from Canton, you are definitely driving away from all of that busyness. You know, you're, you're, it's just a different world, even though it's not that far away. It's a different place. Yeah, it's a beautiful Stress place. Stress-free, yeah. And I've lived there all my life, and I've only learned to appreciate it in probably the last 20 years. Okay, well, and tell us, uh, restaurant-wise, uh, what kind of hours are you? Is it Our seven days a week now? No. I didn't think so. I had no. to ask. <laughs> Come on. Our restaurants are always closed on Sunday. Mm-hmm. We are open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday. All right. And, uh, and Dutch Valley Restaurant will be open on Thanksgiving Day. That's, that's the only one in, in our Amish country area yeah. that will be open. Now, Sarasota, Florida will be open on Thanksgiving Day. And our Belleville Restaurant on I-71, close to Mansfield, will yeah. be open on Thanksgiving Day. But in Amish country, if you don't want to cook and you don't want to do dishes... Mm-hmm. You can have a wonderful meal oh at Dutch Valley Restaurant. Oh gosh, yeah. From Great 11 idea. to 4. Well, you have to, to I'm four. assuming reservations for that though. No. Really? No, not necessarily. Okay. No. Large groups, if you have a large group, yes, but you can also get carry, Thanksgiving carryout meals at all of our restaurants so that if you want to eat at home but you don't want to cook, just bring it all, you know, that you can come and get the turkey and the awesome. ham and the dressing and the pies and all of that. All right. Well, so, I understand you're leaving us now. I am. And you've got, uh, who is going to be? Christina Slaybaugh. She mm-hmm. is the innkeeper at our Carlisle Inn, Sugar oh. Creek. She used to be on the radio. Really? She used to be a radio personality. Really? And then she saw the light. What happened? <laughs> yeah, oh. she got smart, apparently. Yeah. yeah that no. nice? Oh, no, no, All right, no, well, we she'll share that. that with us and talk about those okay. amenities. But right now, we have a, a giveaway for we you, folks. We do. So, if you're interested, and I know this phone's going to start ringing as soon as I even start to speak about mm-hmm. this. But if you are interested in winning uh, two adult tickets to Half Stitched, Stolen, or Christmas in Paradise, mm-hmm. uh, the performances, the music taking place at the Ohio Star Theater. Um, you And also breakfast, lunch, or dinner for two. It includes that as well? Yes. Oh. So it's a whole night out, yes. a whole day out. You can go down and you can go to dhgroup.com for more information on uh, the restaurants and the theater and the shops and all the fun stuff. But again, how about what, what number of caller do you want us to take? 3,740. <laughs> well, I said Vicky. Oh. Four? Caller four. Is that too, is that four, too short? Four, caller four. You want it to be a higher number, Vicky? Well, I don't know. No, four You is say fine. whatever number four's you okay. want. Well, 330-450-1480 is the number. To, oh, look, they're already hanging up because they knew they were first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then so they redial? Yeah, 330-450-1480. We will take the fourth, tenth. tenth. No. Tenth caller. <laughs> tenth caller Change right now. It. Tenth caller. All right, Here we we'll, go. We'll, we'll be we'll, back. In. We'll get tenth calls, won't we? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, we yeah. will. Your team, your kids, your home for high school football. Running for his life. Let's it fly. Back of the end zone. Touchdown. Coach, what did you like? What did you need to clean up in the second half? This has just got to be rude hog. High school football returns Thursday night. Marlington hosts Poland. And Friday will be at Maslin for the All-Care Stadium Show, followed by the Tigers and St. Vincent St. Mary. The Shearer Snacks Radio Game of the Week on 1480 WHBC Sports. Spectrum Orthopedic Surgical Center, OS3, provides excellence in outpatient total joint replacements. This has been Spectrum Orthopedic's goal since the first outpatient total joint replacement to the recent 1,000th outpatient total joint replacement in the morning and home comfortably by evening. This means less chance for infection and quicker recoveries. Visit SpectrumOrtho.com for details and information on their other subspecialty trained orthopedic surgeons. I'm Vern Dale from Vern Dale's Water Center. Did you know Vern Dale's Water Center is the best place to buy your salt, softener salt, agricultural salt, even swimming pool salt? So make Vern Dale's Water Center your source for high quality salt at a great price. Amish country is always a good choice for a day away or a weekend of fun. Dutchman Hospitality offers unique comfort at their Carlisle Inns in Sugar Creek, Walnut Creek, and Berlin. Delicious Amish cooking at Der Dutchman, Dutch Valley, and Berlin Farmstead restaurants, and shopping at Carlisle Gifts, Dutch Valley Gifts, and Dutch Valley Market. And the best, Broadway caliber musicals at the Ohio Star Theater in Sugar Creek. Half Stitched ends August 29th, but a new musical, Stolen, begins September 11th. So plan now for a trip to Amish country. This is WHBC AM Canton, News Talk 1480 WHBC. From the News Talk 1480 WHBC newsroom, new data shows that students and teachers in the Buckeye State should be alert 
as they return to school buildings for the year. It found that Ohio is one of the top states of concern. According to that report, Ohio is ranked in the top 10 states for school threats and incidents. That is based on data from the 2017 and 2018 school year. Ohio is ranked second only behind the state of Michigan. There were 170 threats reported total in the state of Ohio last year and 14 incidents total. That's ONN's Angela Ann and Pete Scalia. Two Canton residents were among the five people arrested outside the gates to the Northeast Ohio Correctional Center in Youngstown on Monday. One of them was the Reverend Dustin White of the Radio Church on Brown Street Northwest. The five were trying to deliver communion to the detainees arrested a few months back at Freshmark in Salem. Police say three hours of negotiations with the protesters were unsuccessful. Police now say they know the two kids who vandalized a bench dedicated to fallen Westerville police officers last week. Tracy Townsend has that story. Chief Joe Morbitzer told the dispatch that the juveniles have been identified and he does expect charges to be filed. Someone scratched up the bench at McVeigh Elementary School last week. It was meant to honor the memory of officers Eric Joring and Anthony Morelli. Both were killed responding to a 911 call earlier this year. The PTA is working to restore the bench and have it back to the students soon. I'm Tracy Townsend. And, of course, Anthony Morelli, Officer Anthony Morelli from Maslin. More news coming up at 10 o'clock. I'm Pam Cook. Hall of Fame City Weather. Here's your AccuWeather.com forecast. We'll still have a couple of showers moving through today, but we'll also have sunny breaks. It'll be breezy and cooler than it has been. The high 73 clears out tonight. The low will drop to 53 and we'll have some fog late tonight and into tomorrow morning. Otherwise, tomorrow is going to be a beautiful day with sunshine and a warm up towards 80. Friday stays nice with sun and clouds and a high of 82. I'm meteorologist Maggie Johnson for News Talk 1480 WHBC. Now back to Spotlight with Pam and Gary. <laughs> okay, second half of Spotlight. Mm-hmm. Hey, Matt Casper, congratulations to Matt, the winner of our uh, our tickets to the uh, musical. And we also had dinner, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And uh, we're going to have another giveaway this next yeah, at, the end, of, at the end of the you. hour. We're going to have another great giveaway. This will be for overnight accommodations, This is right? going to be ev- everything we gave away in the first one, but mm-hmm. we're adding a one-night stay at Carlisle <sighs> Inn, ladies and gentlemen. Oh J.D., get your paws off that. <laughs> I yeah. see him. Oh, my goodness. So now we send Vicky packing. Mm-hmm. And, of course, uh, Spotlight on Star County on this Wednesday is Dutchman Hospitality. And right now in studio with us, we have Christina Schlebaugh, who is the GM at Carlisle Inn Sugar Creek. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. Oh. Oh, we're excited to have you, too, because we were talking so much about the restaurants and all of the things that are going on. But you've got to have a place to stay if you want to go down there, right? We have a fabulous place for you to stay. Um, Carlisle, I again, I manage the Carlisle and Sugar Creek, but any of our Carlisle locations, they're wonderful. They really are. It's You can make it your home away from home, and our whole goal is for you to just feel so welcome and we're there to take care of you. No matter what your need is, we're there to take care of you. What would you say is your busiest time? October. Absolutely. It's coming up. Mm-hmm. September and October. Um, with When the leaves turn. The leaves, yeah. And I think, and the harvest plays a part in it, too. So last year, our leaves didn't get real great. Um, it was a, a shortfall. But we still had a lot of folks coming because they want to experience and they want to, even though the leaves maybe weren't the prettiest, it's still that special time of year as you prepare for the holidays. And and there's just so much to do in Amish country. There's so much to see. And yeah. and the culture is um, so unique. Well, Liz, do, do you uh, actually, I, I'm, I'm making an assumption here, but at the Carlisle Land, there's probably a lot of folks who go there and don't know where is the next stop? Where That's should right. I go? Right. Do you work with them on that? Absolutely. My front desk team, I love them to death. They're so good and they love to take those questions and they love to give you some ideas and, and find out, okay, so what are you looking for? And that's the thing. 
um, that I think is probably one of the best things about Carlisle and Sugar Creek because different people have different ideas of what a getaway is. Mm -hmm. Some folks mm -hmm. want to fill their day. They want to go shopping and they want to go eat and they want to go to a museum and they want to take a carriage ride and they want to go see a show and then they want to shop some more and then they want to eat some more and give us some new places to go. We can help you with that. Mm -hmm. You can do that down there um, at Carlisle and Sugar Creek or in Amish country in general. And then you get the other folks who their idea of a getaway is you know what, I'd like to lay by the pool and I might turn over one time. And that's their idea. Right. We can accommodate yes. that too. So, or if you've, you know, you're looking for a happy medium, whatever your, whatever yeah. your idea of a getaway is, that's why we're there. You can come yeah. and truly get away. Well, there are the major attractions out there that most folks know about. They go to, and you know, including most of your things like Absolutely. the Ohio Star Theater and what have you, but there's out of the way places that yes. most folks might not know about when they get down there. Yes, definitely. Um, it, for instance, the museums. We've got mm -hmm. David, David Warther Museum just down the road from us. And I went there thinking, okay, this is going to be something old guys will like. Yeah. And I came out of there just amazed. It was so cool. Did and you I, buy a knife? I didn't, but I probably <laughs> should have. I mean, those are amazing. But, <laughs> you know, it's especially at um, David Warther. I know the, the Mooney Warther's mm -hmm. place down in Dover, and then David Warther is his grandson. And... He comes out and talks to you, and he tells you about what he does and talks about the different ships that he has made and the oh, history. And yeah. It's absolutely yeah. fascinating. Yeah. And then, isn't I there a button out. collection? From the, I think his wife collected buttons, yeah. you yeah. know, and that's a whole other area about right. that. Right, and, and I believe that's down in Dover. It at is, the, yeah. Yes, yeah. At, at Warther Carvings down there. Mm -hmm. So there's tons to do. That's only one tiny little thing. And again, my front desk team, they love when people come and say, okay, you know, what should we do today? Well, hey, what are you into? And, and they'll ask those questions and, and they'll find out what might be best suited. And a lot of folks just want to take a drive. They just want to take mm -hmm. a drive. Give us some back roads in Amish country yeah. where we're going to see the actual, uh, you know, Amish people working or playing or, or living their lives, that yeah. kind of thing. We can do that also. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and the other part of it is if you are, if you're up in the Canton area, you're up in this area, you know, the drive down there is very simple and easy, mm -hmm. but why not find a place to stay Absolutely. like the Carlisle Inn and, and just not have to worry about, you yeah, know. Yeah, you make it a couple of days. Yeah. When you do that. Yeah. All right. Well, now, is it possible to still get uh, reservations in for September, October? I mean, are you just setting me up for a heartbreak? <laughs> I would never do that. I would never set you up for a heartbreak. It is is possible. Um, now, the weekends are going to be tough. The Fridays mm -hmm. and Saturdays, you may have to, if you've got a date in mind, you might have to adjust a little bit. Yeah. But we do, we do still have uh, rooms available. And just give us a call or go online. That's a great way to find out what's available. And, and if you go online and perhaps you're like, well, I can't figure this out. Some, some folks have yeah. a tougher time online than others. Um, just give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. You can work through that on all of that. Okay, so you've got the Carlisle in. But uh, we, we, we briefly touched about the Miller Manor. That's, oh. in, that's kind of part of what you do, oh, yeah. right? Oh, it's awesome. Right, tell us about it's that. It's amazing. The Miller Manor. I know Vicki had giving you a little background on it. Um, it was the owner's home, and, and they wanted a place where their children, their grown children and their grandchildren could come, and, and everybody could, could stay together. And so now you can do that, too. Um, so if you're looking for a place for your family getaway, or maybe you've got uh, a group of girlfriends or, or something like that mm -hmm. that you all want to get together— it's just fabulous. I'm not sure what other words I can use to describe yeah. that experience. Or a wedding party or, you Absolutely. know, I mean, I mean, that would be great. Great yeah, idea. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> it's a huge house. It's beautiful. It's got lots of neat little touches. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a, a sunroom that has a warm floor and it's just, it, you'll just walk in and go, oh my goodness, we get to stay here? Yeah. How, how mm -hmm. long has this been available? That has only been available for the past few years. Okay. I don't want to give an exact date because I'm trying to remember. I, if I had to guess, yeah. I would say it's been about three, four years Just now. Just three or four years. Mm -hmm. I thought because I was unfamiliar that, oh, yeah, okay, a, that's yeah. interesting. It feels like a little bit of a secret, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, mm -hmm. And it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, that's gorgeous. fantastic. 
Yep. So what is coming up with the theater as well? I mean, the Ohio oh. Star Theater is a is a big hit. It this is, is a, a big huge hit. hit. And I know Vicki had mentioned that it had started in our hotel mm-hmm. in the Carlisle in Sugar Creek. We had it in our conference center there. And that was was quite an experience. And we were glad that we actually had a, a theater built. But yeah. we still, I just had a lady come in the other day and she said, so now this is where the theater used to be. She was showing a friend around the hotel and they they loved it because it was a theater in the round when it was in there. Now it's a normal, you're, you know, what you mm-hmm. think a theater will be. Mm-hmm. And it's fabulous. Um, it's all state of the art. The audio, um, the sound is, is just incredible. And the thing that that I really want to stress about the Ohio Star Theater. All of our actors are professionals. Mm -hmm. They are professionally trained. And their voices, when they sing it, sometimes I just get goosebumps because it's that good. Our shows are special. They truly are. Um, It seems like everybody has their favorite. I love the Christmas shows because they give you that warm, cozy feeling. Um, But... Pretty much all of our shows have that special message attached to them, something uplifting, and and they're hopeful, and um, boy, you got to come see our shows. Yeah. Yeah, right now, Half Stitch, the musical, it ends August 29th, so right. just another week, a week right, from today. Right, right. So, so you've got another week to come see that, and then we start a brand new one that has never been on our stage before, Stolen, and... We're excited about that one. And then we've got a new Christmas show coming, too, which I'm extremely excited about because, hey, Christmas time is a special time anyway. So Christmas in Paradise is going to be. Oh, it's written about the Carlisle, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yes. It's Paradise Every Day at Carlisle. I thought you wrote that. I think there's a byline there with your name on it. There should be. Let's add that in. Awesome. Oh, my. Well, why don't we do this? It's a a little early, but I'd like to take a break right now. When we come back, we're going to share more about that and maybe some of the other singing and uh, all the other activities that are on out there. Plus... That big prize Mm -hmm. that I cannot wait to give away and get folks to call in on. So we'll be back in just a moment. More on the Carlisle Inn and uh, fun in Amish country when we come back. From the frantic. I am damn mad. To the fanciful. That would be amazing. The fearful. I'm afraid for the future. I don't know what's going on in this country, man. To the fantastic. I'm happy as heck that Trump came in. And a whole lot of other F words. No wonder we're in such a freaking mess. Stay connected to us by friending us on Facebook. I actually found you by accident. Just click on the little blue F. And I feel as if we're friends. At WHBC.com. Our pets are as precious to us as our family is. They greet us happily when we come home. They provide us with a sense of companionship and are always by our sides. It's been said that a pet's life is a percentage of our lives, but we are all of their lives. And it hurts terribly when we lose our fur babies. Hi, this is Glenn Dumoulin with the Paclay Pet Crematory. In 2012, we opened our pet crematory separately from our human crematory to take care of the families who have suffered the loss of a pet. Every pet is taken into our care with the love and respect that they deserve. Our promise to each family is that your pet will be cremated one pet at a time, and you can be assured that the cremated remains that are given back are those of your pet only. Cost is based on the weight of your pet and includes a container. For more information, visit our website at packlay.com or call us at 330-833-3222. That number is 330-833-3222. Hello, this is Tom Swallen at Windsor Medical Center in North Canton. I'm here to share the latest Windsor news with Stark County. For some time, we've been working on establishing an adult daycare community with specialized activities, meals, and many optional services for adults who are in need of daytime supervision. That time is here, and we are touring and accepting members to the adult day program. In addition, we have certified for Medicare to add another option to Windsor's nursing and assisted living facility. This is complete and we are admitting Medicare Part A and select Medicare Advantage rehabilitation patients. If these are needs of yours, then I hope you'll stop or call 330-499-8300 and see what we have to offer. Windsor Medical Center is located at 1454 East Maple Street in North Canton. We hope to see you soon at Windsor. 
My wife Joanna and I are now a two-business family. Joanna reopened Mulligan's Restaurant and Pub at 4118 Belden Village Avenue in Belden Village. For great food and service, stop and give us a try. Or for reservations, call 330-493-8239. We look forward to seeing you. Wrangle and Reese Motor Cars have been selling quality cars and trucks in Stark County for over two decades. With their locations on Tuscarora Street in Canton and Main Street in Navarre, Wrangle and Reese Motor Cars has now opened another location at 1212 13th Street Northwest in Canton, right next to Leland Motors. It's the same great cars and trucks and always the best financing. Stop by and deal with Joe Huff, sales manager. You can also visit them online at wrankleandreesemotorcars.com. wrankleandreesemotorcars.com. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack. But not with ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on candidates finding you. Its powerful technology actively invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you. The needle in the haystack. Try ZipRecruiter now for free by going to ZipRecruiter.com slash hire. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash hire. And now, the worst commercial ever. I'm Jake. And I'm Jack. We're the Plow Guys. How do we keep your driveways clean? With, With commercial auto and business insurance through Progressive. They help through the customized insurance plan that keeps our business on the road. And that's news worth shouting out loud simultaneously. Enthusiastic yelling at the same time. Yeah. Terrible. Whereas commercial auto and business insurance through Progressive is anything but. Visit ProgressiveCommercial.com to quote today. Insurance provided in service by Progressive Casualty Insurance Company. It's affiliated in third-party insurance. Warning. If you're drowning in debt you can't afford, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to pay it all back. Because you don't. What the credit card companies don't want you to know is that there's actually a way to get debt-free without paying off your entire debt or going bankrupt. If you have $5,000 or more in credit card debt, you now have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. For free information, call Credit Associates now. 1-800-900-6131. We'll even show you how much money you could save. If you can't afford to pay off all your debt, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to. Call Credit Associates now for free information on how to get debt-free faster than you ever thought possible without debt consolidation or bankruptcy. We depend on your success and offer a guarantee, so there's no risk. For free information, call now, 1-800-900-6131. That's 1-800-900-6131. 1-800-900-6131. Amish country is always a good choice for a day away or a weekend of fun. Dutchman Hospitality offers unique comfort at their Carlisle Inns in Sugar Creek, Walnut Creek, and Berlin. Delicious Amish cooking at Der Dutchman, Dutch Valley, and Berlin Farmstead restaurants, and shopping at Carlisle Gifts, Dutch Valley Gifts, and Dutch Valley Market. And the best, Broadway caliber musicals at the Ohio Star Theater in Sugar Creek. Half Stitched ends August 29th, but a new musical, Stolen, begins September 11th. So plan now for a trip to Amish country. Now back to Spotlight with Pam and Gary. All right, our final segment, Spotlight on News Talk 1480 WHBC, heading out to uh, Amish Country and Dutchman Hospitality. Absolutely, and of course you can uh, see us on Facebook right now if you want to at 1480 WHBC. That's our Facebook page. Why don't you show, Pam, everybody that beautiful pie you're eating? I'm not eating pie, Gary. What, what is in the that? World is that noise? It looks like my phone uh, We're all picking up our phones. It's his. Uh, it's my. We, Gary, why don't you pick up that phone you're making all that noise <laughs> with? <laughs> Wait a minute. It's, 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 it, it, it's Donald That's Trump what Jr. You get for calling okay. Me out with pie, okay? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Anyway, let's. Uh, we, we are, you can go to Facebook and watch all of this frivolity um, if you'd like to. That would be great. But also, uh, of course, we want to talk about um, the Carlisle Inn. We've been talking about Dutchman Hospitality. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about the campus right now and um just by the way to reintroduce christina schlebaugh who is uh, the innkeeper the innkeeper the at uh, carlisle in sugar creek um and we've been talking about all the wonderful things and how it's a great little getaway for for folks um if you've never been to amish country and you want to explore it's a perfect thing to do but why don't you talk christina a little bit about you know the campus i mean you park your car and then right around there's yeah. there are places to walk to. Oh, right yeah. we have folks who will come and stay and they won't ever leave our campus and they don't have to there's a lot to do right there 
there. Um, of course, the hotel has a swimming pool, a beautiful swimming pool and hot tub and that kind of thing. And then on campus, we've got the Dutch Valley restaurant right there. Um, we've got the Dutch Valley market, which is where you can buy those fresh meats and cheeses mm-hmm. and deli items and bulk foods and snacks and, and just lots of things over there. Um, and then we've got the Ohio Star Theater, which is right there. You can take in a show. And Dutch Valley Gifts, which is the gift ah. shop. And actually, the really cool thing about Dutch Valley Gifts, so the entire campus used to be a working farm. Way back in the day, that was a farm. And Dutch Valley Gifts is actually the barn, the original barn from when it was a farm. So mm-hmm. there used to be cows and horses and things like that All in there. That, yeah. Trust me, you won't know it now because they've renovated it. And But it's really cool. It's it's a barn. Yeah. yeah. And so. I've been in there many times. And the, I mean, just the jewelry and, oh, yeah. and the scarves. There's, yeah. I mean, there's just so many different things to, to go through. It takes you a long time to go through that store. Absolutely. I mean, there's so much to look at. It's beautiful stuff, too. Lots to see. And it's all, all of that is right there on our campus is all within walking distance right now um it's it's we do carriage rides seasonally so typically june through october we run carriage rides and and bob who is one of our horses and rex is the other horse bob they, and rex bob the horses. and rex yeah yes they would be happy to give you a ride either around our campus or down the road uh, whichever you prefer and um they love it they love what they do they're very well taken care of and and they love people so so That's there's great. tons to do right there on campus. You never have to to get back in your car and, and leave if you don't want to. How, how many, I mean, on average, if maybe, I don't know if you have these numbers off the top of your head, obviously. But, oh, boy. You know, local, you know, Ohio people versus people from around the country. I mean, what's the, the, the balance of people who come wow. and stay? That's I mean, a great question. It's probably a lot of both, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably something we should research and actually get numbers on. But I will tell you, we get a lot of folks f- who are only a couple hours away or maybe folks like here in, in the Canton-Akron area that mm-hmm. it only takes you 30, 40 minutes to get down there. Mm-hmm. And it's a nice little getaway. If you don't want to go too far away from home. But you do need to get away. And right. we get stories all the time from folks who, who are, are saying, I just need a break. I just need, I just need to kind of put my brain on a shelf and just go relax and get away from it all. And then I'll go back on Monday. And, and, you know, we'll start over again on Monday. Will you take so. the kids for me as well? Because uh, <laughs> well, the pool. I mean, if you can, oh. if they're big enough that they can hang out at the they pool. They can hang out at the pool. <laughs> there you go. Sure, there you go. <laughs> Just always looking for those angles. Yeah. I think I found yeah. it, so that works. <laughs> You're a thinker. Yes. Wow, that's, that's awesome. amazing. Yeah. Well, it's just amazing. You've got a, a total campus yes. out there. So literally you can explore Amish country, which is great in and of itself, or, again, you don't have to. Right, right. You can. It's a great base for you to start. Okay, we're going to, this is going to be our home base, mm-hmm. and we're going to go out and we're going to explore and, you know, take that little back roads trip, or we're going to go shopping, we're going to go check out the gift shops or or the exotic animals, or, you know, it's all right there, the museums, whatever it might be, or you can just stay there and just kind of put your head on a shelf and do nothing for a couple yeah. days. Is there a festival coming up? We have a fall festival fall coming festival. up. Yeah, okay. that's, that's right. in uh, mid September, and it's just a couple days on campus there that we do. And then, of course, the Swiss Festival is the big Sugar Creek Swiss Festival, and that comes up uh, at the end of September, early October. So, and that's been around for a long time. Yeah. It's been a big hit for a while. So, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, and people should know, too, we mentioned it earlier, but if you go uh, south on 77, I think exit 83, is that correct? It's the Dover exit 39. Right. Um, right. And you get off the exit and hang a right. Yes. And it takes you right. I mean, the trip from that point is right there. There's mm-hmm. a, a lot to see and a lot of great things. And you you will not miss Carlisle Inn when you right. come upon it. There's, right. There's no way you miss that. The Dutch Valley campus is about 10 minutes away from that exit. And so we're right there on the left-hand side as you come through. And stop in and check us out. There's so much to, to see and do. And, and it's a wonderful place to stay. The Carlisle Inn is a, a wonderful, welcoming place to stay. 
Well, yeah. this is sad. The only one I haven't been to is the one in Sarasota. Oh, I guess well, that Gary, that my needs next to change. Yeah. Goodness, that's right. you need a road trip. You've yeah, got to get there. I think I need to do that. Yeah, Sarasota. I'm looking, and that's pretty awesome that, that, oh. that they, there's one open in Sarasota. For those folks here who travel down to Florida, mm-hmm. I mean, what a great thing to go to the Carlisle like a, Inn. an Amish retirement community? Is that what that yes. is? So, so Pinecraft. I don't know mm-hmm. if you've ever heard of Pinecraft, but the Carlisle Inn, Sarasota, is right on the outskirts of Pinecraft. And Pinecraft is an Amish Mennonite community. It's a settlement in Sarasota, Florida. And it really is where the older Amish and Mennonite folks will go to retire, but yeah. it's so popular in the winter time that they will have. There's a bus company that will have four buses a day going down, taking people down to Pinecraft no and bringing other folks back. Do you have to home. take a buggy to the beach. Do, you, they, do they allow yeah. cars? They or? don't actually have horses and buggies down there because it really is in. The city of Sarasota. Yeah. But what they do is, and it's so much fun, because you'll see them riding around on these three-wheel bicycles. And there's gangs of Amish people on three-wheel bikes. Amish gangs on three-wheel yes. bikes. Like, gosh. <laughs> like older folks, too. It's fabulous. <laughs> you got to love All right, it. Now I have to go to Sarasota. I'm, looking. Go. I'm telling you, if you want to find out more about this place, <laughs> mm-hmm. go, go to the website, dhgroup.com, um, because you will absolutely love it. It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Yes. And it just opened um, in March of this year. And I'm so as the innkeeper at Carlisle and Sugar Creek, I go down there and, you know, when, when you manage an inn, then you tend to, to be, you know, a little critical. Yeah, mm-hmm. comparison. And yeah. oh my goodness, I love it. I'm so jealous sometimes. I'm like, this is perfect. So um, yeah. you've got the beautiful sunshine and it is a gorgeous hotel. She's already picked out her retirement. I place, really so have. I <laughs> like it, right? You know, I get it. I see what you're doing. Oh my gosh, it's time. I know. And people were already calling. I'm sorry I had to hang up on you, but we, we you know, it's now time to call. Get in. Because we are giving away. This is going to be a fantastic weekend for someone. First of all, you're getting two adult tickets to the uh, either Half Stitch, Stolen, or Christmas in Paradise at the Ohio Star Theater. You'll get breakfast, lunch, or dinner for two, including beverage and dessert. And you'll also get one night stay and... It's in a deluxe room. A we deluxe. upgraded yes. a deluxe room at the Carlisle Inn Sugar Creek. All right. So 330-450-1480 is the number to call. Mm-hmm. What's your what's your lucky number, Christina? Well, why don't we just do lucky number seven? Can we do that? Is we that can. Two? Okay. We that's can do beautiful. That. Lucky. All right. Lucky number seven will be our winner. And uh, we appreciate you coming in today and Vicki as well and bringing all the goodies. And thank you to everyone at Dutchman Hospitality. Thanks so much for having us. Because getting there is half the fun. Traffic in the morning and when it trends, coverage like nowhere.